Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing beauty empties. I have a big box. Let me get it. This is my big box. And what I've been doing for the last few months is whenever I finish a product, I just chuck it in here and I'm purposefully not looking inside because I can't remember what's in here. So it's fun. It's fun for me and you. Ooh, oh, this is really fun already. I thought what we could do is go through my beauty empties talk a little bit about the product, and then if I would repurchase or not. If you are a regular viewer here, you'll know that usually today when I'm uploading is a vlog day, but I have had a very interesting week. I've been a little bit under the weather, so that's why I sound a bit nasally. So I thought we could just do this. It's very chilled out, very relaxed. Did I sleep in my t-shirt last night? Yes, I did. I actually, I got up at half past four this morning to fly home from London. And I got home and now it's the morning of, I did my makeup, which I actually probably should have filmed a tutorial because I really like it. But alas, I digress. Let's get started. The first thing I've got in here is Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath. It's a classic. I have tried, I think, all of the different scents. This is the Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil, pure Epsom salt. This is just the easiest. Is it the most sexy thing in my bathroom? No, probably not, but it is great. It's so, so good. All of the scents are really nice. You get really nice bubbles from it. It comes in a huge bottle. It's nice and affordable. Absolutely would buy again. Next we've got, right, we've got a lot of hair stuff in here. So see when it comes to empties, I always go through mostly like body care, hair care, and a cer certain makeup products. We have a lot of Davines here. This is the Davines Oi shampoo and conditioner. I also have here the Oi All-in-One Milk. This is fantastic. So it's a beautifying hair system. It's for all hair types. And I have been using this for years. I do switch around my hair products, I will say that. There's other brands that I love and other, other products that I love, but I do always come back to this. I always add it to my basket on Cult Beauty and I've repurchased this over and over again. And I will continue to do so. So the shampoo and conditioner, really nice my hair. I have extensions at the moment, but my natural hair is dry. Um, you can see as well that I've got highlights and stuff. I'm probably the darkest that I've been for a long time, so when my hair's darker, it tends to be healthier just because it's not got any kind of color damage, but I still have highlights through the ends. So this is really, really good for my hair type and the oil on one milk. Every time I wash my hair afterwards, I spray this right through mid lengths to ends and I put this in my fringe as well. Whether I'm drying my hair or not, I always use this and I almost use it like a detangler, but it also protects your hair as well. It's a heat protectant. Oh my God, yeah. Adds shine, adds softness and silkiness excellent detangling power, facilitates combing of dry and wet hair, moisturises hair, facilitates blow drying, heat protection, longer lasting hairstyle. It's just that all in one, that's how it's called all in one. If you've not tried this, if you're in the market for a, a kind of more luxury shampoo and conditioner and hair system, try these. Not part of, oh no it is. I have one other oil product from Davines and it's the body wash. Body wash is really nice, it's the same scent. Out of everything, this is the, probably the thing that I wouldn't rush to get again. I really, really enjoyed it. But for me, their hair stuff is the crown, the jewels of top the crown. We have another hair product. This is the Chris Appleton Color Wow Money Mask. I really like this. It's a really interesting texture. It's quite gelatinous. You get a huge tub. Well, there's a tiny, can you see? There? There's a tiny, tiny little bit left. That would do about two of the strands of my hair. But see the texture, look. It's quite gummy. Really, really interesting. But I thought it was really beautiful. I used pretty much all of this mask when I didn't have extensions. And I put it right through my hair. So right to the root, really. Um, and I thought, I thought it was amazing. I would get this again. You can tell when I'm obsessed with something when I've got multiples. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is an incredible dry shampoo. One of, if not my favorite dry shampoo ever. I remember the first time I ever bought this was at Sephora, one of the first times I ever went to America. The kind of like biggest selling point to it was that it actually cleans hair. So it actually leaves your hair feeling clean rather than like you've just put something on top of the oil to hide it, if that makes sense. This is phenomenal. If you've not tried it, try it. Will 100% buy again. Got another mask. This is the 
way thick hair mask. When I said that I like other hair care that and I kind of switch between, Way is one of the brands that I absolutely go to all the time. I really like their medium hair shampoo and conditioner. I really like their detox shampoo. Um, I get quite a lot of build up in my hair. I think it's just from, you know, styling day after day, but the thick hair mask, I maybe wouldn't get this again. I would get the medium hair mask. I think I like to think that I've got the thickest hair and I don't. I have quite thick hair, but I don't think I've got thick enough hair that wants this. This is my second one of these and I do, I still really do like it, but I think when I didn't have extensions and I had mostly brown hair, I noticed that this was maybe a little bit too heavy for my hair. So I would get the medium one next time, but they've got fine, medium and thick. So really interesting if you feel like you've not found a hair mask that is good for your hair type. Very good. And it looks very chic in the bathroom. Ah. I spoke about this before. This is the Aroma Active Muscle Recovery Soak. I feel like I'm not a good person to use this. I actually think that this is in my empties because of Jack. If you're right into the gym, you feel like you get achy muscles a lot. If your work is physically demanding, incredible. I enjoy it. I think it's nice. I don't really think that I need my muscles to recover that much, unfortunately. I'm quite static as a person, but Jack, um, when he was really into his running, when he was like, he ran marathons and things like that, he did it twice on a whim. He's a crazy, crazy person. He used this after one of the marathons and it completely sorted him out. Would I buy it again for myself? Probably not. Jack, yes. Ah, okay. I have hairspray uh, and I have two of one and one of the other. I have the GHD, this is the nice travel size. I think that's why, I think that's why I've run out of it, honestly. This is the GHD Perfect Ending Final Fix Hairspray. And then I also have the Got To Be Glued. And actually, I've got three of these. I've got some left in this one and these two are empty. Battle of the hairsprays, okay. I think that both of these are great. I use this, see whenever you see my hair like this, I have used the Got To Be Glued hairspray. It is amazing. I love this size for when I'm traveling and whenever I'm doing a sleek ponytail or a sleek bun, which is my go-to hairstyle if my hair is looking really, really bad. It immediately makes you look pulled together. This is amazing. The Perfect Ending Final Fix hairspray kind of reminds me of this. I really, really like it. It's maybe a little bit more versatile than this. I would never use this hairspray in my hair if I just had like soft curls and I wanted them to stay in. This is like a sticky, sticky hairspray that is just for sticking your hair flat to your head. This one, you can achieve this look with, but it's a little bit more flexible. So this is more like your all rounder hairspray. And like I said, see the size of these? It's so perfect for when I'm traveling. So I would get both of these again in a heartbeat. And I actually, yeah will continue to do so. This is very telling. Oh guys, you're gonna be mad at me. I'm gonna end up saying that I would get all of this stuff again because honestly it's loads of my favourite things. I need to try more new stuff. This is the Vive Skin Nova. This is the Instant Radiance Primer. This is my brand. So this is a bit of a cheeky one because I made this. This is the best primer uh, ever. Uh, it is so good. It has really beautiful skincare benefits. I talk about this all the time. It has fast become one of our like hero products. It makes me so happy that, to hear when, when people love it and, and that it's made a difference to your skin. So I have probably ran out of more of these. I've got, this is my current makeup bag one. So this is, this is full at the bottom. We have three face sprays and they're all different. We have a tanning spray. We have a setting spray and we have a like skincare spray. The skincare spray is the La Roche-Posay Tolerine Ultra 8. This is amazing. So see, I use this almost like a toner. So after I get out my bath or my shower or just after I've washed my face, I will soak my face in this and then do whatever skin care routine on top of it. It makes products work better. It's really great for hydration. When I was abroad, I took this just to really hydrate my skin. Amazing for sensitive skin if you're not tried this then you have to. I should, I should, maybe I should just call this my beauty faves. I'm obsessed. Aha, this is one I wouldn't buy again. Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice. I wouldn't buy this again because they don't sell it anymore. This was my favourite scent of All Nighter ever. It was like really, really summery. I think it was like three years ago they brought out this scent or maybe it was even more than that. Absolutely unbelievable. I voiced how much I loved it. I 
know that there's another all nighter coming very very soon though which i think is going to smell just as good as this but the summer solstice scent was my all-time favorite the all nighter spray is a absolute must i believe for everyone's makeup bag i use it to set my makeup every day i use it to wet my eyeshadows it refreshes the skin i i'm obsessed last but not least my U-Tan, I'm sure I've got other empties of it somewhere, but this is my U-Tan Jamie Genevieve CBD tanning water. There's two different shades. So there's the original and then there's 50% darker. I actually use the 50% darker. Um, I think it makes a really good difference. I always get told that I look really tanned. My face loses a color much quicker than my body. So naturally my face is usually a lot lighter than like my shoulders. So this just evens me out but it gives a really beautiful glow that makes people think you've just gone on holiday. There's also a, a really amazing tr like trend with this product of people saying it's really helped their skin, it really calms their skin down. CBD, Scottish lavender, if you've, again, if you've not tried it, then try it. We have three skincare products to finish. This is the Green Clean Pharmacy Melting Balm Cleanser. Weirdly, the first time I ever bought this, I bought this at the same time, so I'm still using them. I don't know if I would get this again though, because since using this, this is like a very light balm cleanser to so see if you're someone that doesn't want something too heavy on your skin, this is perfect. But I'm kind of leaning more towards the really oily balmy cleansers, things like the Elemis Pro Collagen cleanser I'm preferring these days because it's a little bit thicker, it's maybe a little bit more comforting. I think when I started using this, I must have been like 21. So I'm 28 now, my skin's getting a little bit drier, so I prefer something a bit richer, but this really does get all your makeup off and it is very nice and light and fresh, but I think, I don't know, I don't think I would get this again. The Inky List Polyglutamic Acid. I wouldn't get this again because it's sold out everywhere. Psych, I want this so bad, but it's sold out, it's sold out in cult beauty, it has been for ages. I feel like there's quite a few things that I'm waiting on to come back in stock at the moment, but the NK List Polyglutamic Acid is definitely one of them. I used this mixed with my foundation and I was obsessed. The actual instructions, you're meant to use it as your last step before makeup. So I would use this, then my Skin Nova, and then my foundation. I want to try that because I've only ever used it mixed with my foundation, so this is amazing if you've not tried it. Really, really affordable as well. Last but not least, is my Skin SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. This is the hyaluronic acid. This is really, really beautiful. I think this must be like my fifth bottle of it. I think it's fantastic. I think it really, really works. The I've spoke about this before because this has a much higher price point than other hyaluronic acids I've tried. I would use, I would try any hyaluronic acid if I'm honest. I'm maybe a little bit fickle when it comes to hyaluronic acid. I would shop around. I would say with this, I can tell the difference in the formulation than maybe a more standard hyaluronic acid from the ordinary. That means that um, if this isn't your price range or if you're not one to spend a lot of money on your skincare, then I don't think you need to. But for people like me who, like I'm happy to invest in my skincare, I love, I bloody love it. Skincare, makeup, jewelry are like the things that I like to splurge on because there's things that I use and look at every day and it makes me really happy. So would I buy it again? Absolutely. But that's not to say that this is like the be all, end all hyaluronic acid, but I really do think it's beautiful. That's it. Oh no, it's not. I've got two bright products. I should have done like a bingo sheet to see if you would guess all these products because they are products that I like use and talk about all the time. I have an empty 24 hour brow setter and an empty and very, very faded, like there's no, there's no text left on this. Gimme brow, I can't even tell you what shade it is. I use these every day, although what I have been using, what I've used today for a slightly more defined brow, I'm back on my, precisely my brow pencil and I'm really, really liking it. I actually have another empty right in front of me. Last empty is actually a perfume. New-ish to me, I only started using it last year, but this is the Byredo Gypsy Water. There's literally a dribble left in it. Oh, do you know what weirdly it reminds me of Jack? We went to Ibiza and I took this and the body cream for the first time and I actually took this and the body cream when we went on our honeymoon. That's why it reminds me of Jack. But we actually ended up sharing it because it's it's a really light scent but it's, it's unisex, it's definitely unisex and there's something really intoxicating about it. It's really light. It's actually quite hard to explain. It's almost like a really light amber floral but I absolutely love this. I think it's fantastic. I feel like whenever I talk about perfumes and scents, I have a 
a lot of people in my in my corner. So if perfumes are something that you want to talk about, let me know. Let me know if you like empties. I like them. I think that they are really relaxed. I like being able to save my stuff up over time. One thing that I've learned from this is that I definitely need to start really trialing out a lot of new things so I can give you a proper <laughs> give you a proper review because these are all things that I just love and use all the time. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any of these. Let me know if you're going to try any of these. I'll link everything down below and apart from that. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! As soon as I started recording, I never started cutting the grass. Perfect! 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 I love it! I love it! Do do my fringe as well, my do do. I do do my fringe. Why is the door gone? It's Saturday. How did I do it?